the reasons were for an interview program that he did with Maria Fletcher, a former Miss America, who now represents Amway Cosmetics. This program was uh, on September 28th was the date. And uh, after reviewing the tape of the program, he had uh, done a couple of things that we didn't think were proper. Uh, Miss America had come there ostensibly to talk about consumer protection and ended up trying to plug her sponsor's product. And she insisted on doing so, and we got into a heated quarrel. I asked her to leave the studio, point blank. She threw coffee at me. I had a heart attack, and it was all over. After she had left the studio, this was a very emotionally highly charged type interview that he had with her. And uh, he broadcast the hotel number, the telephone number where she was staying, and invited people to call her at the hotel. And this constitutes a harassment of a person, which is against the rules. So that was one of the reasons. It all involved the same interview. The other thing was that uh, when people came in, I mean, called in to try and defend her point of view, uh, Maria Fletcher's point of view, he was very curt to them, and in some uh, couple of instances, cut them off while taking the calls from the people who were on his side of the issue, which again is uh, not fair, let's say. We've got to air both sides or all sides of any, uh, any issue there, and uh, we think that uh, although some calls were against and did get on the air, I mean against Roddy, they, they were a disproportionate amount uh, that were four. And then uh, we felt that uh, the emotional outburst that he made on the program was such that uh, it wasn't the kind of thing that we wanted a talk show moderator to do. I mean, he should be a moderator, which indicates, I think, among other things, a moderate person and able to control his temper or his emotions, a thing that he failed to do in this particular case. So after reviewing the tape, uh, we decided to take this action. Actually, I was out of town last week, and we decided to take the action last week, but uh, I believe in confronting a person face-to-face -face when I tell him I'm relieving him of his duties, and uh, Rod took that quite well, as a matter of fact. I feel that there's another reason for my dismissal, which is a lot deeper than that. I think the underlying motives uh, for my dismissal, the tone of that uh, dismissal, was set by the United Fund hassle that I've been involved in for the last uh, month or so. And when I took an active part in campaigning against the collection tactics for the United Fund, the station took a dim view of that. Obviously, I was dismissed. You carried it on this show. I was reinstated, uh, never endorsed by the management, reinstated. Uh, I went back on with a great number of provisions. I didn't uh, want to surrender one inch of my editorial freedom, and in fact, I did not. And I think uh, that had a lot to do with it. I think it had so much to do with it that I am now in the process of getting ready to file a suit against the United Fund for the loss of my job, which will probably be the first suit in the United States filed against the United Fund by anybody who lost his or her job because of them. He was not against the United Fund per se. In fact, he was for it. But he was against the compulsory nature that some employers have of asking their employees to contribute to the United Fund. After investigating all of this, I was 100% for him on the United Fund issue, and this had nothing to do with his dismissal. You're through, that's it, uh, and the reason is the Miss America show. Is I've thrown other people out of the studio, and believe me, I have. That was not unusual for me to do. I've done it on many occasions. Uh, I have not done anything unusual since I've been reinstated. They were looking for a reason as far as I'm concerned. Do you feel like he was acting irresponsibly then? In this instance, yes. They felt I was a threat to their license, that I was broadcasting irresponsibly, whatever that means. You'll have to ask them that. I don't think I'm irresponsible. Things that other people haven't been able to